Assume you know nothing about anything. Now, in a world that, that tends to value the loudmouth know-it-all, that seems like kind of a weird request, doesn't it? <laughs> right? But this is choice number six of the seven choices of a conflict resolution master. I'm Nancy Schick of 30 or Conflict Resolution and the author of the book that we're going through in these the series of seven. So we are on choice number six, which means we're hitting that last one next week. So make sure that you subscribe below um, after, after you watch this video. So we're going to talk about just briefly what we're talking about with assuming nothing, right? It sounds again, a little weird because we've been taught to pretend like we know more than we do, right? Like the fake it till you make it. And in conflict resolution, that doesn't tend to work because what happens is both parties will come to the, or all parties, it can be multiple parties, will come to the dispute with these positions that they're just staunchly entrenched in, right? Not going to budge in any way. Probably as you're listening to that, you can hear it's not going to lead to anything new. Right. It's just going to end up recreating and in the conflict and you, you end up ruminating in it. And that is why choice number six is to assume you know nothing about anything. So it's it's the assumption I allow you to make if you're coming to mediate with me is assume you know nothing. And it is, again, like just opening your mind because we love to assume things. You're probably assuming things about me right now. You're looking at me and you're trying to size up whether you think I'm credible, whether I'm somebody you would want to work with, or if I'm out of my mind, right? <laughs> and you may be basing that on a lot of different things, but you might be wrong. Now, you could be right too on some of that, right? But it's, it's about just opening your listening. And as you probably know from the title of the business, 30 or conflict resolution, it's all about listening differently. And if you and you may be at this point forgetting or just wondering what third ear is. So it's a great time to remind you that your third ear is in your heart. And if you just look at the at the word heart, the English word for heart, it's right there in the center. So there's just like we have the, you know, the two ears and the one mouth, you've heard that one probably before. It's the same thing. You have an ear in your heart, not anatomically, right? But you can listen compassionately and break open these conflicts so that you can resolve them. And you're not going to see it if you go in with all your assumptions. So again, I'm going to go through that last one in the next video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button below. I'll also put a link in the notes to the video to get the book. So in the meantime, keep listening with your third ear for those hurts you can heal.